Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here, and in this video I will talk about how to clean the contacts inside a remote control. If you have an older remote control that you use often, you might find that some buttons uh, on the remote control don't respond when you press it, or it might requ require a uh, really hard press on the, on the button. Uh, you might think initially that it could be a dead battery, you replace it with a new one, and it still doesn't work. Uh, or maybe in the past you might have spilled some drinks on the remote control and now that the buttons are very sticky. So I'm going to show you a procedure on cleaning the contacts inside the remote control that will help you fix this problem. Now keep in mind that this uh, procedure can also apply to um, also even a telephone, like a home telephone, so that um, if you have any problems with the buttons on the phone, you can uh, also take apart the phone and uh, clean the contacts and it will fix the problem. Now, first thing to do is to take apart the remote control. And I will tell you that this part of the step is going to be the most difficult uh, because depending on the design of the remote control, some of them are very easy to take apart and some of them are just very, very difficult. And if you're not able to take apart the remote control, basically you can't get to the circuit board and you can't uh, clean the contacts. Uh, for this one I'm using, it's actually a fairly new one. I don't have a problem with it but uh, this will give you an idea what the procedure is. So I'm going to first turn it uh, around to the back and remove the battery cover. On many remote control you might find uh, one or two uh, Phillips screw and on this one actually there's none. So that tells me that because there's no, no uh, screws inside the battery compartment that all around the edge everything is held in by uh, snap-in clips. Okay that's molded into the case. So you can uh, either use um, a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, or if you have a tool that is slim enough to get between the edges, you can try to use it to uh, pry the case open. So let's first try to open this with a uh, flathead screwdriver. Now keep in mind whenever you use a metal screwdriver on plastic, there's a very high chance that you're going to uh, scratch the surface a little bit. So be very careful when you do this. But some of these uh, remote controls are so difficult to open that doing a little scratching it's almost uh, unavoidable. And just go around the edge So now that I have the uh, top cover removed, you'll find the uh, rubber keypad underneath. Okay, and if you look closely, uh, like on these buttons here, you see a little black dot here. Uh, these are actually conductive um, materials uh, embedded at the back of these uh, rubber keypad. And what happens is that when you press a button, okay, one of these buttons here, you'll actually press down and complete a circuit on the circuit board. First thing I like to do is if it's an old remote control and once you open this up typically you're going to find all kind of uh, junk and uh, grease and, and many other um, things that might be embedded uh, inside the bottom edge of these uh, buttons and also you might find a, a film of uh, grease at the bottom of this side what I like to do is to actually wash this with some mild detergent. So let's do that right now. What I like to use is some warm water and a mild hand uh, soap. So I have some soap here and I'll turn on the water. Make sure it's nice and warm. Put some soap on my hand. And just go through the buttons. So clean the top side. If you need more soap, get some more soap. Clean the bottom side. And then rinse underneath the uh, warm water to wash off all the uh, soap. Then what you want to do is get a towel and just pat this down and get as much water off as you can and make sure everything is dry. So after you clean the uh, keypad and you dry it off, the next thing you'll need is a couple of uh, Q-tips and also 
uh, rubbing alcohol, like I have here. All right. Now, the reason I have the rubbing alcohol is because I'm going to use it to clean all the contacts on both sides. Now, some people do recommend using uh, acetone to clean the surface, but I find the acetone is just a little too strong. And when you apply it onto the back of these uh, rubber keypad, uh, it might take off a little bit more um, materials than uh, you prefer. Rubbing alcohol is just a lot more milder, so that's why I like to start off with uh, rubbing alcohol first. Now, uh, one thing uh, to note is that uh, if you wonder what is acetone, basically acetone is uh, is found in, uh, say, nail re nail polish remover. So I've got a bottle of uh, nail polish remover here. So this is uh, something you can use if you want, uh, which contains acetone. So what you want to do is get the Q-tip and then dip it into the rubbing alcohol and make sure it's um, quite damp. And then what I would do is actually I'll clean the uh, back surface of these buttons. Even though I washed it already, I still would like to go through each of these buttons and make sure they're all clean and then get a paper towel and just dry it off. So after this is done, then I would start cleaning the circuit board and use a, a new side of the Q-tip so it's clean. You don't want to put the uh, dirty uh, stuff that was cleaned off back on the circuit board. So here's a new tip with the rubbing alcohol. And I go over the contacts, every one of them, and make sure they're all clean. So just get a paper towel and just dry it off. So make sure everything's dried. So now that you've cleaned both surfaces, then you can put everything back together. Okay. So for this remote control, I'm just going to snap all the edges back together. Put in new batteries, replace the uh, cover, and your remote control should be working just like new. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. If you like the video, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.